Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelvin Johnson. In this short video, I want to show you how to shut down a remote device using PowerShell or um, CMD, the command prompt. So let's say I'm um, here, I'm connected to that device using the PS um, exec. So I'm connected to this device. So I want to actually shut down this device. Let's say this is a Windows Server or Windows 10, and you cannot shut down this device. Maybe here you cannot shut down the device from the start menu. So we can decide to shut down a device. You can actually do this from this device itself if you should in case you don't have the option to shut down this device from the start menu. Probably maybe your admin have already um, configure a group policy for you not to be able to shut down this device but you can do that using the command prompt so I'm going to do that remotely so let me just sh show you that you don't even need to log on to that device to actually shut down that device so what we need to do is so right now I'm connected to that device using PSSEC so I'm going to actually just enter let me just enter um, shut down and here what we, not, what we want to do is actually restart the device and I want to actually shut that device immediately. So what we can do, I can, let me just go and show you the following actually. So you can see if I enter the shutdown and I enter the question mark, you can see that we have all the different options which we can actually use to shut down the device. So it says we can use the shutdown here and the arrow will full shutdown and then restart the computer. So I want to actually restart the computer and then the T which I entered let me see, which is of course is the timeout because I'm going to actually turn that device to be short immediately. So here you can see, we can decide to set a time. I can actually set a time to shut down the device with the value range is between zero to like 10 years. So I can decide to um, say that I want to shut this device like tomorrow or one hour from now or like five minutes from now. But you can, I can decide to actually shut that device down immediately. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go for shut down. I'm going to use the S command, the S, the arrow command, and then the T, which is the time, and then the zero, which says the device should be shut down immediately. So look at what happened when I just hit enter. So this is my, I'm doing this for my Windows server, and I'm going to shut down this device with the C001. So if I hit enter, and look at what happened, you see that the device is being shut down immediately. But mind you, I enter the arrow, which means that the device will be restarted and not just shut down. So if you enter the S instead of the arrow, the device will be shut down immediately. But mind you, if you are not remotely connected to that device, if the device is shut down and there is nobody there to actually restart that device, definitely the device will be off. So when you put the arrow, probably you install a software and it's asking you to restart that device. Or you say that you, or you have like um, your device as an update, you can as well just do this remote to actually start the device immediately. You can see that device is being restarted right uh, at the moment. So, but now we can see that I don't have a communication with that device again, which means that device is not accessible over the network. You can see it says an unexpected network error. Why? Because the device is not accessible over the network anymore. So it's trying to actually reconnect to the the device but because the device is not available definitely it will not be able to access the device so right now i'm back again to my own device and not to the c001 so we can see that the device is still not online but it's still trying to start and if i try to ping the device let me see ping now because the device is back online and you can see that the device is back online thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related video. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye.